Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. I um, wanted to do a quick video, talk about uh, the location of my property and uh, what came about in me choosing that location for my retreat, for my, I'm going to call it a bug out retreat, but I do plan on living there. Um, when you're looking for some place that you want to go that you can be safe and that you can keep your family safe, there's a lot of things that go into it and I did, a, did do a lot of research. Um, looking at location. Uh, elevation for me is one of the important uh, aspects of it because um, the main road, the dirt road at the front of my property is 1600 feet above sea level. So I'm not going to have to worry about flooding. If there's a flood that comes down to the valley and takes out down below, it's never going to reach up that high. Um, so that was important. Um, having water on the property. Now in the beginning I thought it was just a spring on the property but come to obviously find out there was a well. So, but I figured with a spring I could develop a spring. So, having your own water is also a huge, huge thing. And um, you know, accessibility is obviously another one. You got to have, you know, to have the access to get into your property. And uh, the, the isolation of it, of it as well, it's not on the main track. It's it's pretty isolated. You know, you have to go through a lot of different country roads to get there before you even get to my property. So that's a huge thing too. The fact that it's not a ton of neighbors around is a good thing. Um, you know, all those things for me go into um, the factor of it. The most important thing that I can remember, I read a book and, I, and I'll have to find the book and I'll show it to you at some point. And uh, the gentleman was saying that uh, if you can live on your bug out retreat, um, do it. You know, um, that's that's kind of the key, um, and so I really took that to heart. Um, my first property that I had, you know, getting in there in the winter was like a nightmare. It was great; it was isolated, but I had no water up there um, to dr to do a well. It would have cost me a tremendous amount of money. So you know, th there was a few things there that didn't go right, and it was you know what that first property was a true experiment. And I learned a lot from that, and I knew what not to do this time. So, um, you know, th that's part of it, too. And um, the other thing for me as far as the location of the property is how far away it is from the city. Now, Rochester is the biggest, closest city. And uh, where my property is going to be, I'm almost an hour away. So nobody can get on top of you right away. You know what I mean? they got to go through a lot of other places first before they would ever even come closer there. And they're not looking for that. They're looking to loot towns, villages, um, you know, and stuff like that. They're not looking for that little isolated place out in the middle of nowhere. So, and the thing is, too, I also believe that the neighbors will band together out there. It's more of a community in the country. So, a lot of those things were the factors, and it's the reason that I chose the spot that I did. And I wanted to touch base with you on that. You know, when you're looking for a property that, you know, you want to develop as a retreat or as a place to live um, and like I said for me it's like living there is the most important thing because if I had to bug out and I basically had a half an hour let's even say a half an hour it might not even be that long let's say I had a half an hour we are talking about one truckload of stuff and then you know with my mother it's one carload of stuff I can't take everything that I want to take in one truckload or one carload so living at your retreat and having everything there is important and you know who knows when where you're gonna be when things go bad okay are you gonna be home in bed sleeping when things go bad are you gonna be at work well the thing for me is if I'm at work I keep a bug out bag in my truck and if I know that my kids and my mom are at the property and they're safe and I know that they're okay and they can take care of themselves and nobody's gonna bother them it may take me three days to go 60 miles to get home, but I know that they're going to be there and they're going to be safe by the time I get there. And I don't worry about myself, I worry about them. That's, again, always been my number one priority. So, you know, those are the factors that have gone into everything for me. Um, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, tell me what your thoughts are, why you do what you do, where you're going with your properties. Um, but those are a few of the thoughts that went in, you know, for me. It's... Uh, you know, location is, is, is key to everything. And, you know, having that water is just huge. And, you know, that the well was already dug in on the property is just a, a huge score for, for, you know, for me. So I'm really happy about that. 
Um, so that's why I just want to do a quick video on that, why I chose the spot that I chose for the location of my property, what thoughts went into it, and um, you know, I hope this helps. If you're looking, if you're thinking of getting a property and where you want to be and the location of it, you got to think about floods and you got to think about, you know, the population around you and, uh, you know, where you're located in, in where the, uh, you know, where the, uh, the big towns are, the cities. So, you know, you got to think about those things. All right. Well, thank you for listening. And, um, you know, keep prepping, keep taking care of your families, people, because I'm telling you, when it goes bad, it's going to be like a light switch. One day everything's going to be fine, and the next day it's going to be complete chaos. And it will degrade very fast into anarchy in this country. It's heading that way now. Okay? All right, thank you for listening. Prepper Nurse 1 out for now.